Hey, it's them! Akaba! Sawara! You're still here? Indeed we are! If you have a moment, we'd love for you to join us once more. We have time! What do you want to talk to us about? It's the same topic we discussed last time! Obviously! Still looking for more info about Tatarasuna, huh? Hmm. Should we join them? Unfortunately, we haven't made any real progress. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. I presume you'll want to read mine as well. Here. Well, what do you think? Hey, Traveler. Remember how last time Akaba was saying how he wished he could gather more information about all this? Well, we just got back from Inazuma. So how about we tell them what we learned? What did you find out? Something big? It's a long story. Basically, we have some friends in Inazuma and... Wow, so many new details. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Well, well, so it all comes down to one man's desire for revenge. Huh, you heard this from a member of the Amenoma clan, you say? Then I guess it must be true. Ugh, so there's no ghost story here after all. This new information actually lends further credence to my hypothesis. Evidently, swordsmiths were seen as having an incredibly prestigious role in society those days, to the extent that harming them was conceived of, at least by the perpetrator, as a way of exacting revenge against those in power. Yes, yes, okay, point taken, you were right. But that doesn't mean I can't carry on with my novel. And they're back at it. These guys are really into this. Oh, so sorry. Look at us, prattling on about our projects and ignoring you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the information. You're welcome. See ya. Keep us in the loop if you find out anything else. <laughs>